Niger government says seize weapons, military grade weapons in their land that do not belong to them. Uh, they're very worried about that. Um, the speaker. Et depuis lors, c'est dans ce ciel apparemment serein que les forces de défense et de sécurité et les agents de renseignement ont saisi dans la ville de Niamey, plus précisément dans le quartier Plateau et Tchangarei, une importante quantité d'armes, de munitions et d'accessoires de guerre. Cette découverte de matériel de guerre dans ces villas, anciennement occupées par les militaires des forces françaises et par les, les agents de, du projet de Cap Sahel, n'ont jamais renoncé à leur sinistre projet de déstabiliser notre pays. Leur coopération étant toujours inscrite dans les complots permanents afin de retenir le peuple nigérien sous la dominance et sous leur condescendance. Leur condescendance alors que nous avons choisi désormais de consolider et de sauvegarder notre indépendance retrouvée. Ok, so, again, we're talking about Niger today. I know we have spoken about Niger many, many times, but it is necessary for us to understand where Africa is going and get to this subject. So the Nigerian government have discovered weapons in Yame. Here is Niger on the map. Here is Yame. They have discovered in Yame caches of weapons, military grade weapons that do not belong to the government. And they're very worried. They think they know who they belong to. What's up everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's always great to speak to you. So today we are in Niger, beautiful place, lovely country that's been fighting very hard lately for their freedom, brand new freedom. Okay, we all thought that African countries were free in the 1960s, but many believe it's not truth. In the 1960s, it was just some of us official, you know, you are free. But in reality, uh, we still got you by the balls, economically, socially, mentally, and all your movies, we make them, you watch us, so you aspire to be like us. So the Nigerian national TV broadcast images of armed seizure in the heart of Niamey on Thursday. The search was carried out on February 19th and 20th in a villas in the Francophonie extension Trangwe. Interesting. So in Niger, they still have areas called the Francophonie. Interesting. Huh? That's a result of a good colonization. The Francophonie. I mean, we beat the crap out of you for many, many years. But after we leave, we still leave you with areas named Francophonie. So you can remember us. That's traumatic, isn't it? Okay, let's continue. So just for context, we are reading here from a French publication, meaning it was written by the French. And for us to understand how the French are feeling about this. And they say for the Nigerian authorities, these weapons are proof that France was preparing a clandestine action against the junta. Yes, they still call them junta. You know what the junta is. After verification, it appears that these weapons, in fact, belong to elements of the European UCAP Sahel mission present in Niger since 2012 in order to participate in strengthening the capacity of the Niger internal security forces. So these people came to fortify internal security forces of Niger. And this is a new episode of the information war leading the Nigerian junta against France. So let me recap. Nigerian government a while back decided to topple the president Mohamed Bazoum. If this is your first time, maybe you're going to understand the context. Mohamed Bazoum seemed to work for Western nations. As for the Nigerian people, Mohamed Bazoum was president and he seemed to make it very easy for France and other countries to come into the country and take whatever they want. Niger is a big producer of uranium. Uranium is a mineral that you need for production of many things, including electricity and treatment for cancer. So they have some very interesting things in Niger. France, like many other European countries, colonized Africa for the longest time. And France colonized Niger in a similar way they colonized Senegal, Gabon, Congo Brazzaville and many other countries. Now, in the 1960s, France gave Africa independence, at least the Africa they colonized. They say, we are going, we're going to give you opportunity to lead yourself because you look like you finally mentally stable enough or civilized enough. We've taught you French and to eat cheese, the stinky cheese. Now you want to go. We bet you're going to be able to handle yourself. Officially, that was the case, but internally, it wasn't really the truth. Because France still held the economy of many African countries by the balls. Now, we're living in an era where people don't want to be manipulated that way anymore. As per them, they feel like France needs to leave completely their countries. Now, people of Niger were led by a president named Mohamed Bazoum. And Mohamed Bazoum was extremely friendly to the French. He gave them many opportunities in the country, allowing them to take uranium at very vile price 
in order to produce electricity. But in the meantime, people of Niger, many of them at least, had no electricity. So electricity you get in Niger come from Nigeria. They had to purchase electricity from Nigeria. Yes, these are two different countries. This is Niger, this is Nigeria. Again, this is Niger, this is Nigeria. They both got the name because of a river called Niger that crosses the country. But the reality is, by the border, the people are the same people. They were separated due to colonialism. So, while the people of Niger decided to topple the president, Mohamed Bazoum, after saying that he wasn't really working for the interests of the people of Niger, French people were not very happy about that. President Macron was not very happy that the Nigerian decided to take the country over. He didn't like that. He was very angry. He said he's going to do anything he can to protect France's interest in Niger. Okay, give you context. People of a country say they don't want their president anymore. You as a president of a foreign nation say you're going to go to war if necessary to protect your interest in that country. Does that make any sense? What type of a business are you doing in that country? That's a good question. So now they're saying they are very ready. Nigerians are saying they're very ready to defend in whichever way their country. And after the top of the president, a member of intelligence of the France government in Niger said, according to him, that they're going to turn the place upside down. In other words, if you do not do business with us, you're not going to be happy that we left. And Nigerian government seem to believe that those are some of the reasons, some of the indications that may justify the fact that they just found many weapons that do not belong to them. Now, the French people say uh, the weapons do not belong to French people. Weapons belong to a group of missionary, a group of military of the United Nations that came to Niger in 2012. They called the UCAP Sahel. These were supposed to come to the country to provide training for the Nigerian forces. So they came to Niger with a goal and aim to strengthen Niger's internal security sector and its capacity in the fight against significant security threat. So this means Europeans and other people sent people to Niger to train the Niger soldiers to combat security threat. And as per French people, these weapons are there because the weapons belong to those people of UCAP. It doesn't belong to them. Now, who's telling the truth? Do you think France has an interest to come to Niger and turn things around, turn things over, turn the ground over? Do you think after being kicked off, kicked away, in a very shameful manner, we must say, France has the interest. France will be interested to do something to make Nigerian pay or at least to regret their presence. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. What we can keep here is... These people are fighting for their country. They're fighting for the future. It's their country, after all. You cannot force somebody to be friends with you if they don't want. You cannot force anybody to accept you in their house if they're not interested. God bless.